Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing a new metallic watercolor set. The set is by Alta New, it has just been released and make sure to visit my blog since this is part of a blog hub so there are lots of giveaways to be won. The colors come in this lovely black tin case which has a couple of lids so you can mix your colors there. And there are 14 different pans of watercolor, they are all metallic. In the middle you have enough space to store a brush. Now these shiny watercolors write beautifully both on light and dark cardstock and I'm going to show you a couple of examples here so you can see how beautiful it shows both on white paper as well as on black cardstock. So I'm going to start with my first card and I will be working on uh, watercolor paper. I'm adding uh, a few drops of water in the pans to get them prepped. And now I'm going to start uh, applying some color. For this background I'm going to play with the first two colors which are cold shades of green. And the idea is to create a cool background in an ombre effect for a winter card. I'm not doing any crazy coloring technique here, I'm just applying water from the pan with a big brush directly on my paper. It doesn't show on camera but this is really shiny. Once it dries I'm going to try and catch the light for you so you can see how shiny it looks. You can let it air dry or use your heat gun to speed up the drying process and then I repeat it the same step one more time to add even more color. Just because the colors are metallic, they give a stunning look on the background. I'm going to let this dry and I'll show it to you later on once it's dry. Now for the next card, I'm working on black cardstock and this time I have placed a stencil on top of it. You can use um, low tack adhesive at the back of the stencil if you want to make sure that this is going to be nicely tacked on the cardstock. I didn't bother for that as I'm going for a loose watercolor look. So if some of the watercolor goes underneath the stencil, I really don't care. However, to prevent having a complete mess, I am using very little water. So the color is nice, vibrant and quite thick and I'm mixing two colors directly on the flower. Using the same technique I did color the other two flowers and now I'm moving on to the leaves. For those I'm just applying a green color, no blending at all there. And once I'm ready I'm going to lift the stencil so you can see the beautiful design. A loose watercolor look with a metallic touch to it. And the black background makes the whole design very dramatic. So here's my first background ready to go, nice and dry. It is really shiny in real life so you can create really quick and simple ombre looking backgrounds for your focal points. I picked some of the white paint and added some white splashes. I used foam squares at the back of this panel and I'm sticking it on top of a standard card that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. And as a focal point I cut out some snowflakes as well as the word winter which I'm going to add on top of my card. Now for the snowflakes I cut out some of them out of white cardstock and others out of vellum and I'm going to stick one on top of the other to create something like a snowflake medallion which is going to be the focal point for my card. Just like always you will find linked down below everything I'm using to create my cards including this set of uh, snowflakes which are really beautiful. If you need a good set of snowflakes with lots of variety this is the one for you. I believe this is from last year but uh, it's uh, always lovely to go back to it and use it again. Now I'm going to stick down my sentiment that says winter. And I finished off this card by adding a crystal gem at the center of my snowflake. And you can see here some close-up photos. It is really hard to catch the metallic shine on the background, but I did my best. Now for the second card all I did was to use my rectangle dies one inside the other to create a golden frame which I have stuck on top of my panel. I have also cut out the word hugs which is a one die from Alta New again and I'm going to stick that uh, on top of my panel. Now to add uh, some uh, extra touch I used a white pen and I added some uh, white lines here and there as highlights. And I finished off my card by adding some uh, crystal gems on some of the flowers. Mm -hmm. 
And these were the cards for today. I hope you had fun and that you got inspired. Don't forget to visit my blog to enter the giveaway and join the blog hub. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time.